In single variable calculus, we have fundamental theorem of calculus. It states that if integral from a to b, the, pre, uh, the derivative of capital Fx and dx, that is Fb minus Fa. For line integrals, there's a version uh, there is a version of fundamental theorem uh, for line integrals. The fundamental theorem for line integrals. Uh, it states that suppose L uh, is a smooth curve. Start, start from R A equals capital A to R B equals capital B. Uh, and uh, we and uh, Determined by by vector function R T. Let F be a differentiable. First derivative or whose gradient vector gradient vector gradient F is continuous. The integration on L gradient F dot dr is F B minus F A, or we can write as F R B minus F R A. That's the line and fundamental theorem of line integral. The proof is not too hard. Uh, let's con just consider in three dimension. RT equals XT, YT, ZT. Then DR is X prime T, Y prime T, Z prime T, DT. So the integral L gradient F dot dr that is from A to B. The T is from A to B. And uh, gradient F. Gradient F that is partial F, partial X, partial F, partial Y, and partial F, partial Z uh, dot x prime t, y prime t, and z prime t, dt. That is actually from a to b, partial f, partial x, uh, x prime t, we can write as dx dt, plus partial f, partial y, and dy dt, plus partial f, partial z times dz 
dt and dt. Uh, by the chain rule, we know that the term in the bracket is actually df dt. By then, by this fundamental theorem, by the fundamental theorem of, of calculus, that is f r b minus f r a. So that is f r b. r b is the point b minus f a. That's the fundamental theorem, fundamental theorem of for line integrals. Uh, for general um, for general line integrals, uh, first we should know that the, that the force or the vector f, and we should know that f, f should be uh, conservative or is a gradient of f. Okay, let's uh, see uh, some examples. The first example is confirm. F, X, Y, uh, that's uh, equals Y, I plus X, G is conservative. The first one. The second at evaluate evaluate uh, the f dot dr from uh, from zero 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 two one one. That's for any mm, that is for any point, for any curve. As uh, if f is conservative, it's only and the the integral is only depends on the start point and the end points, not uh, start point and end point, not a lot depend on the uh, on the path, because from the fundamental theorem, the uh, the value of the line integral uh, only depends on the start point and the end point. So the solution is first uh, we should confirm that f uh, is conservative. Uh, this is plain uh, as plane force or plane uh, vector field. We need only to uh, compute partial q partial x, that is partial partial x y, that is 0, and partial p, partial y, oh sorry, uh, partial q, that's partial x, that's equals 1, the q is x, partial p, partial y, it's partial partial y, y, that's 0. Uh, that's one. So partial q partial x equals partial p partial y, and uh, the function and p q uh, has have continuous uh, first derivative. On R2. So F is conservative. F is conservative. Now we need to find the potential function because uh, PXY equals Y 
that is partial f partial x so f equals integral y dx that is x y plus g of y and q x y that is x that is partial f partial y so partial f partial y that is x plus g prime y equals x so g prime y equals zero so g y equals constant so we have f equals x y plus constant that's the potential function the second part from 0 0 to 1 1 f dot dr that is f 1 1 as b minus f 0 0 f 1 1 that is 1 plus c minus f 0 minus c so that equals 0 as uh, it equals 1 That's, and that is we use the fundamental theorem to evaluate line integral the second example uh, show that f equals x uh, y y i plus x j uh, plus 4 k is conservative and uh, evaluate and evaluate the line integral 1 1 1 2 2, 3, negative 1, F, D, R. The solution is the first part, uh, partial Q, partial X, that is 1, partial P, partial Y, that is 1 and partial uh, partial p partial c equals zero partial r partial x equals zero and partial q partial c equals zero and partial r partial y equals zero because r because p is y and q as x and r equals 4. So the uh, so f is conservative. f is conservative. Now we need to find the f. So first we got uh, f s y dx that is x y plus g y c and partial f partial uh, y that is x plus g y y c that equals uh, q x y q x y is x so we got g y y c equals uh, zero. That is g uh, does not depend on depend on y. So that is h c. We write g y c as h c. Now we got f equals x y plus h c uh, take the derivative partial f partial c equals 
h prime c should equals r r x y c that's q that's q x y c Uh, the R X Y Z that is four. That is H prime Z equals four. So H Z that is four Z plus some constant. And hence the F X Y Z that equals X Y plus four Z plus C. So the second we evaluate the line integral. Uh, y dx the f dot dr equals f two three negative one minus f one 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 two three one that is six minus four plus c minus uh, 1 plus 4 plus C. The C is cancelled. This is 2 minus 5. That is a negative 3. This, uh, that's the examples to use the fundamental theorem for line integrals to evaluate the line integral.